What another episode of Jay Lano's Book Club. Remember, no self-help, no weight loss, just stuff that rolls, explodes, and makes noise. Uh, we're here with Ed Lowe, editor-in-chief of uh, Motor Trend, and they have put out uh, a Shelby book, a Shelby bookazine, you called it? Yep. And, of course, Motor Trend has been covering Carol Shelby since the day he started racing. Absolutely. Uh, they've been around longer than uh, Carol Shelby's been racing. Yeah. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be asked to do the foreword to this book, so that was kind of fun to do. This is really a fun little book. It's got a lot of never before seen pictures and most of all the stuff I really enjoy it's got the period reprint road test and not just Motor Trend you have Sports Car Graphic yep. in here yep. and others as well you know it's fun to read road tests back in the period because they tell you what they really think nowadays you look back right. they, they, there's a certain everything was wonderful back right. then right. you know this car was not the Shelby GT350 was not an inexpensive car it was $4,500 right. when a regular Mustang was about $3,000 and uh, this favorite one, <laughs> Carroll Shelby just had his hair styled. Any comments? Yeah. That was back when real men didn't get their hair styled, but Shelby did. So you want to make something of it? Huh? You want to do something about a pal? Carroll Shelby will straighten you right out. That's what's fun about this book. All the period ads. All Look at that. There's an ad for the Turner GT yep. over there in the corner. Tell us the inspiration for doing this. You know, we knew, we knew about Carroll Shelby. We've had a long history with him uh, through the years. And we knew about his failing health. We'd been, we'd been, uh, uh, you know, told about that. But when he did pass, it was, it was quite a surprise. And we, we had the issue ready to go uh, for August. And we had this great cover concept. Well, all that had to be binned so that we could do an issue to, as a tribute to him. Uh, we did two separate covers. This came out and actually sold. It's one of been the best seller for the year. And we decided let's let's you know really uh, commemorate the man and pay tribute to him by doing. Uh, the bookazine, as you mentioned, which is 132 pages, but we said, you know, we'll go ahead and do a book as well, taking a lot of that content uh, and adding, as you mentioned, a whole lot more, including never before seen photos. We went through all of our, our sister publications, including Hot Rod, Automobile, went back and looked at Sports Car Graphic, pulled old issues of Motor Trend. You know, the May 62 issue of Sports Car Graphic was the first rev review of the Cobra. And let's go back and, and show people what people thought back then when that car came out and, how, and what, how revolutionary it was. And then we also put in some of our own, our, our own reviews of like the, the latest generation GT500, just so it captures everything. And know? there are, those of a certain age, there are certain iconic photos like this one, yep. which I just remember, I have that poster. I got it when I was 13 or 14 years old. I still have the poster today. That's, that's kind of cool. You know, the this, this one as well. I mean, yeah, this this that, this, this is a favorite of mine from when they were racing in the '65 Sebring. Uh, just just incredible, and uh, we're lucky that Motor Trend has all of these in the archive in the in the, the former Peterson Publishing archive. I spent about literally you know two weeks solid digging through the archive, and we found a lot of stuff that had never before been published, just lying in boxes, including. I mean, this is you know this way to end a book is is phenomenal. This is a picture of Shelby from the '70s carving his initials into a tree. I mean, this is not stuff you do these days. People right. look down on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but back then, I mean, he, this, is, this is who he was. Yeah, you know, and it's, it, it's hard to believe Cobras are now a million dollars, but they were a hard sell back in the day. Sure. The 427 hardly sold at all. I mean, they sat on dealer showrooms. They discounted them. Mm -hmm. uh, give me five grand, just get it out of here because they were such impractical, right. high-powered automobiles. A lot of wonderful pictures in there, and it covers the whole career, too. Yeah. From the uh, GLH and... Uh, Got Series 1 in there. The Dodge years. Yep, yep, yep. I remember Absolutely. when uh, one of the magazines uh, had a road test that the GLH was faster than the GT350. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Those were like fighting words. <laughs> I remember <laughs> buying that in the newsstand, being furious. And I went, oh, it is faster. Oh, OK. We actually ran, based on your input, we ran that, we ran that cover. Oh, we that's ran, funny. We ran yeah, that you story. Go. So yeah. you know, when, yeah. when, we, when we chatted about it, we said, let's pull that one as well. I mean, there are other biographies that have gone into all the minutia of Shelby's life. But this one really covers just all the car stuff, not so much uh, growing up and childhood and all that. This is what uh, I guess most of us are interested in. Is this another iconic shot? Mm -hmm. I just remember all of these at the period. And it's fun that they've even uh, copied, this is what magazines used to look like, this yeah. sort of uh, 
off-white, yellow, black and white <laughs> photo yeah. kind of thing. Absolutely. Yeah, and the magazine was 50 cents, which uh, seemed high at the time. But we, we even went to the uh, memorial they had at the Peterson. Yeah. And we, we captured some, we did some interviews there. We talked to Leah. She met Carol back when she needed a heart transplant and became the, the emphasis for his... his right, his, that young girl, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah for, for his Carol Shelby uh, Foundation. Yeah. So, you know, we included her. And that's part of the uh, charitable mission of the book as well. The portion of the proceeds of the sale of the book go to the Carol Shelby Children's Foundation. Right, right. And, and uh, he did a lot of wonderful work there. We, you know, we always call him the lovable con man. Right. And, uh, and there, there was something to that. He, he had a heart of gold, but he was also, hey, hey, my wallet's gone. What happened? That Shelby guy sold me something. Right. You know, when, uh, when Shelby came out with that Aurora-engined uh, sports car he had, I said, Carol, what do you really think? He goes, Jay, it's the greatest car I've ever built. <laughs> And I looked at him, he kind of smiled at me. I go, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, he was always trying to sell you something, right. which was hilarious. And he, but you didn't mind it because he was Carol Shelby. Right. Here he is at Le Mans. Yep. Really one of those iconic American characters. Part P.D. Barnum, part Henry Ford, part innovative, part Rocky. I mean, he right. was, uh, he just... Uh, the likes of it, I don't think we, there's nobody else like that. No, there's, there's no one that's had his kind of career where yeah. it's successful early on, and but remains relevant right, all the way right. through until until the very end. Yeah, I mean, I mean really. the names Enzo Ferrari, Carroll Shelby, and they didn't like each other. Henry Ford, uh, Bugatti, Duesenberg, Bentley. There's, there's really no more than a handful, yeah. and uh, he is certainly the longest lasting, and uh, one of a kind. Yeah. And the book is called Motor Trend Presents uh, Shelby. You can get this anywhere, right? Or you can yeah. get it online? Uh, you know, in bookstores mostly, the, the, the big bookstores, Barnes & Noble, have these there on the right. shelf. Even right, even Auto Books and Burbank, the big uh, bookstore we go to all the time, yeah. that's a good place to get it. But this is one of those ones that will be available just about everywhere. And uh, I did the foreword. That's not why I'm recommending it. I'm <laughs> recommending it because it's a really good book. Because I get nothing on this. I, get, I didn't get a dime, did I? Uh, I got a free copy of the book. Several I got free this. <laughs> So, and all the... And a good portion of the proceeds rather goes to the Shelby Heart Foundation. Yep. Ed, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for having thanks, me. Thanks. See you next week.